So I had to take a little break filming this uh, this video because right about the time I got done with the last clip, I got news from retailers in the U.S. that Games Workshop had uh, slashed their allocations of Dominion Box in half and promised them like half next week and half in August and then half whenever, like just chunks depending on how many they ordered. When I say half, I mean like 15, like a lot of stores ordered 30, 45. So they're getting 15, 15 and 15, right? And, you know, I got really upset because, you know, I, this hobby, I, I've basically dedicated my life to it at this point. Like, um, you know, I've been involved with the hobby since the late eighties I played every edition of 40k. I played mostly every edition of fantasy, starting with fifth. So you know, a big chunk of them, fourth, fourth, fifth. I don't even know at this point. But um, you know, last 12 years, we've created content, we've created communities, we've tried to help r r raise awareness, education for the hobby, and you know, just provide better value to everybody out there. And you know, I've been very thankful, and thank you for watching the videos, and thank you for going to the site. And but so when stuff like this happens and I, I start getting all these reports start flooding in from retailers, it, it upsets me because, you know, I used to be a retailer and it's so tough out there right now on retailers. So here's the deal. And you're not going to see this on any of the other unboxing videos because everybody already got their stuff from GW. You just don't decide. You just don't on, you know, the, the day when this happened be like, oh, crap, we don't have as many copies in the warehouse as we thought we did. They're stuck in shipping. Like, that's just ludicrous to, to do all these previews and launch this whole, like, pre-sale preview, and you don't you don't have these copies in your warehouse? Like, I, that's just that's just bad business. That's ineptness. Like, if the, the, the number of copies in the warehouse didn't change from Monday when they took people's pre-orders to today. Like, and I said it when the Dominus happened. It did not change. The only thing that changed is Games Workshop realized how much money, this is my opinion, they could make if they if they moved this pile over to this pile and sold it on their web store. If they make 45% more. It's a no-brainer. Excuse me, 55% more. Stores get a 45% discount, which is decent, but it's not, you know, for everything you sell, you have to put 5% back more with it to reorder it. So think about that for a minute. There is a give and take. So... I went ahead and cut up some of these sprues and I, I'm going to have lots to say about this allocation thing. It's, it's to create a fear of missing out. So like if you want dominion and you're watching this, this unboxing and you have no other way to get it than order it from games workshop, you know, vote with your hobby dollars, buy from games workshop, the, the web store. But if you got a local game store and you could afford to wait for them to get their extra stocking or whatever, maybe just do that because Games Workshop has the data. They understand this many people order from our web store when things were allocated for the past six months. Now they have a precedent to how much extra money they can make. As as they have more supply allegedly coming in, they can sell more on their website and perhaps not give as much to stores. We saw it with Indominus. Now we're seeing it again with this. And it's just it the same thing happened over. It, it's, it just happened a year apart. And it's Games Workshop is a great company. They have great designs. They have great people that work there. But their policies sometimes, it's just like, what are you doing? Like, I get what they're doing. But I think you just have to vote with your hobby dollars. And that's all I'm asking everybody to do. And can continue to ask everybody to do is vote with your hobby dollars. If you have a local game store, try to buy it there if you can. You know, because the money stays in your local area. It benefits your local gaming community. It benefits your local game store. It doesn't go off into the ether across the ocean to another company that has literally been doing all making all the wrong moves lately. Like we we got to stop rewarding Games Workshop for their bad behavior. And and the one way to surefire do that is vote with your hobby dollars. But like I said, spend your money where you can. Spend your money where you gotta get you gotta get your hobby stuff. I get it, do it, but just keep all these points in mind as you're spending those dollars. That's all I'm saying. All right.